Look, this is an atom. Imagine if this atom is a brick. I mean, it's a building block. If we multiplied this brick 10 times, 100 times, even millions of times, intuitively, you wouldn't give a doubt that this brick is gonna behave the same way as this huge kind of a planet. They are made of the same thing. But it turns out, our physics doesn't agree. See, let me explain this. Our universe holds four fundamental forces that are known to exist, measured by two known laws of physics. Einstein theory of relativity that measures the miracle of gravity and how planets bend a smooth, elegant time and space fabric, and quantum physics that tackles how the tiny microscopic structures work in an unpredictable universe with no definite outcomes. I could be here, or here, or here and here. See, the problem is, when we try to combine these two contrasty looking theories that describes the whole universe, our mathematics broke. And since we were exposed to this problem, physicists like Albert Einstein have been trying to unify these two laws of physics until a compelling unification theory enters the room. The string theory, also called the theory of everything. String theory proposes that everything around us, all of the atoms, the protons, the quarks, are made up of small tiny filaments called strings. These strings oscillate and vibrate in distinct ways to give us our elementary particles. It vibrates in one way, it gives us a photon. It vibrates in another way, it gives us a glue one. Zillions and zillions of them vibrating around and inside us give us our massive universe. And there you go, finally we have a theory that unifies everything. Well, that's not how it works. String theory comes with a weird feature, the higher dimensions. Now what dimensions exactly are? Since we were exposed to this universe, we've known exactly three dimensions, forward and backward, up and down, right and left. And then came Einstein giving us the fourth dimension, which is time. Now actually, string theory have a lot of branches. One of them is the super string theory, and its mathematics actually work, but not with the universe that we know, with a universe that has not one or two nor three or four, but with six extra dimensions on top of the ones that we know. Now how will these dimensions look like? Let's go to a trip to the Monarchia Mountains where the stars shine in the sky. They just look like points, which is mathematically zero dimension. If we attach two of these points, we would see a length, which is one dimension. And as we get closer to one of these stars, we're gonna find how 2D shape it is, length and width. And as we move closer, we start to see its depth, which is the third dimension. And here comes the question. Why not if we get closer and closer again, we can find extra dimensions? It's logical, you just need to think of it unintuitively. If we can actually get all the way inside the quarks, it is said that we're gonna find extra dimensions that we cannot basically see with our eyes nor with our daily technology. It's also said that these six extra dimensions are twisted and turned in a shape called the Clavia shape. This shape is where the strings vibrate, giving everything around us. Now one thing to send a wonder about is that this Calabia shape has different models, which hints at the idea of the multiverse, that each one of these models represents a universe in itself. Hmm, so what one of these models represent our own universe? You know me I still have a complete proof of the string theory, but what we do have is beautiful equations that might lead us to unexpected outcomes.